Long ago, the four nations used to live together in harmony, and that was before the modern nation decided to attack. Only the goats, master of all four branches, could stop them. But when Shinobi Striker needed them the most, they vanished. Months had passed, and the comrade and I found a new goat named Master Ted. Although his double casting skills were great, he has a lot to learn before he can save the community. But I believe Ted can save the world. Blessing Spartans and welcome back to another Shinobi Striker update video and today I'll be walking you through all the patch notes inside patch note 3.36 There's been a various few changes but I'm also going to show you the new leak clothing but going straight into the patch notes Octopus, Herd, Koto and Imperial Earth all had changes Starting with Octohug Anytime an enemy is jumping and they get Octohug, it allows them now to recover faster. This is encouraging less pitfall, trashy, cheesy ass tactics and now encouraging more skill. Imperial Wrath, I believe they're still working on it. Um, it still needs a few more tweaks because I'm not taking no damage. I'm still receiving full invincibility frames rather than it just being super armor. Koto is a beautiful one, so when you activate your second stage, it now takes away the status ailment of the opponent, so as you notice his demon hunter is now gone. Have a play around, tell me what you guys find. Shishui's dagger gun received some remarkable adjustments. It now is no longer that trash ass spam. You can't just keep someone on the floor. They made it more skill dependent, so now you have to use certain maneuvers and do certain things in order to execute it. Yeah, you can go on forever, but it's not something that everybody can do, if you know what I'm saying. This next one was really well needed. So the adjustment on the zero point allows the Moonblade always guaranteed it pulls them back. Sometimes it used to bug out and never quite work. Now you'll be able to work out some really cool stuff even with your teammates. Have a look. I even tried to make someone land in Jizo. I was so close, bro. Look how close. A lot of Ninja Tools got some adjustments. Starting with the lightning release bullet. Before it used to be a pitfall killer. Now you'll be able to recover a lot more quicker. As you can see, I stand up a lot faster. Next, you have the water release. Now it still stuns you, push you to the floor, but it's not that pitfall sort of stuff. It's really punishing standing. However, I did find you now can block this and it doesn't remove anything from your stock. So the anti-teds, flashbangs, yeah. Um, in the air, it has a delayed effect. So you don't stun and hit the floor, but you'll pick it back up afterwards. It's quite unique. You can't block against them at all. It's gonna leave you stunned and also still picks up that double sequence. So these things make sure you blind. Next, my favorite seal tag of them all. Waited. The only reason why you haven't seen the videos because I don't have it. But the potential on these are incredible. So watch it again. He puts the seal tag down, I walk into it, BAM! Use these on base battles, flag battles, leaves them, oh, it's incredible. So, I know some of you are going to ask him, what about Strange Taste Ted? The reason why they're going to be doing adjustments on this is because you can actually charge your ultimate technique quicker in Strange Taste than you do Wild. They're trying to work out how the portions is, but I'll give you the update when it's ready. So also I'd like to take a moment to shout out Fleetboy Jetson for getting us this clothing. It looks like we've got Kanshin Koji stuff, some kitty earmuffs, new outfit for all types. This stuff looks incredible. Blessings everybody. Thank you for 50 likes. I will be dropping Karma Explained Strange Taste this week. Blessings.